Kevin McCullough, glad you're with us. It is uh, breaking news as it happens, what it means, and why it matters. All right, uh, this is the end of a very busy week, but what does it mean economically speaking? And what are some of the signs of what is happening in global markets and why should we care? Kevin McCullough going in depth this hour with Landmark Capital's uh, CEO, uh, David Fisher, because there's some important things we need to cover. Stay with us. Something interesting is happening with this. Kevin McCullough, let me start with you. I found this thing at townhall.com by Kevin McCullough. The big dog has come out of nowhere. Kevin McCullough. I just want to help people think. Nationally syndicated radio host and author of No, He Can't. He is playing the role as uh, as well as anybody could. Kevin McCullough is a nationally syndicated radio host and author of No, He Can't. The odds are he's right. It's Kevin McCullough Radio. So glad to have you with us. It is a big news day, and for the uh, the headlines of the day, for those of you that don't get both hours of my broadcast, uh, you might want to check out the podcast, or if you're in New York, be listening uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern uh, for the uh, for the second hour of Kevin McCullough Radio today. Uh, but in this hour, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dig deep on one topic. We're gonna dig deep on the economy. We're gonna dig deep on what's going on in the economy. And the reason that it matters and the reason why I want you to be properly prepared, because I happen to believe a couple of things. One, if, if you are someone who um, is not wise about planning for the future, then you're going to end up regretting not being wise about that. So when you don't when you don't plan and if you see stuff coming and you ignore it and you choose not to do anything about it, uh, then that's going to have that's going to I don't know uh, harvest bad repercussions on your life, and one of the reasons why I've been thankful for Landmark Capital uh, and their partnership here with this broadcast is that uh, they have supplied many complimentary resources, free resources for you to get up to speed on uh, why it's important to be financially secure in times that may be coming, uh, and we're going to talk more about that in just a minute. Uh, and, and so um, that's one of the reasons. But the other is that I don't just put everybody on the air that has something to say about finances. Uh, there may be a lot of people that buy time and, and uh, you know, want to run commercials and so forth, but I don't, I don't talk to people about economic issues with confidence unless I believe in what they are doing and have seen that they have integrity. And that's one of the things I really want to drive home about Landmark Capital. Um, David Fisher and his and his crew um, want your portfolio to be good for the benefit of your family. They want your money that you invest to be sound so that you have what is necessary for when the bad season comes. Uh, and that's why we're going to talk uh, at length today with David Fisher on Kevin McCullough Radio. David is back. Of course, he's with us every Monday. But, David, it's good to have you today. Thanks for being here. Good to be on your program for this extended time. You know, you're, you're sounding – we have a saying, if if you don't take care of your money now, it won't be there to take care of you later. And so this is what this is all about, is learning how to take care of our money, not having all our eggs in one basket. Because the economic environment is going to change. That's what economies do. Yeah. Well, let me let me just remind people that are listening. Uh, and by the way, if you want the financial survival guide, which uh, they are making available at no cost to you, you can do one of two things. You can go to the, the uh, website information at am570themission.com, or you can uh, call David's office at 844-604-2575, 844-604-2575, uh, and request the financial survival guide for 2018. But, uh, David... On this broadcast, and you've been with us, I don't know, a year or so now, uh, it's, it's been a while, uh, a lot of your predictions uh, have happened. They've come true. Some were even on, like, the exact day you predicted that they were going to happen. Uh, today we see that this big picture of the economy uh, has some potential trouble to it. And what we want to do is help prepare people financially to protect what they've earned. That's both, for people that are Christians, that's a biblical concept. Right, so that we we are good stewards, but it's also just common sense to do what you said: uh, have that money be prepared to take care of us when the time is called for. 
Well, you know, I feel like this is like a Clint Eastwood movie, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. There's a lot of good things happening. I mean, look at unemployment. That's incredible, 3.8%, the lowest it's been since 1953. There's some bad things that are brewing. Our, our debt is growing faster than the economy, 36% faster, and we're not uh, taking care of it. And the government lost $1.2 trillion last year with the most revenue we've ever had, $3.3 trillion. So something's wrong with the financial landscape of the undergirding system. And that's what this is all about, being a good steward of the funds the Lord has entrusted you with. Scripture says a portion to seven, a portion to eight, because you do not know what tragedy may befall you. In other words, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And Alan Greenspan said it really appropriately. He said bubbles seem to break out again and again. Yet there's a long history of forgetting those bubbles. Once that memory is gone and the bubble breaks again, the result is a dramatic 180-degree switch from exuberance to fear. And, <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to see some problems coming because it is just one plus one equals two. We can't get around it. While the debt is growing, treasures are being issue to support the debt at the fastest pace in history. And I got numbers. We've been talking about all that. But it's just a conceptual thing. And while that's happening, they're raising rates, the Fed, and they're unwinding their balance sheet. They're selling these treasuries. Our, think about that. Our central bank is selling our biggest asset called the dollar, the treasury. They see an economic problem coming, and they're not the only one. The ECB is selling. And so we're having all these things converge, and this is why we're going to have some problems in the latter part of 2019, 2020, and I'm not the only person saying it. In fact, there's right. have nothing to do with gold are saying these things. Well, and you've got, uh, and, and, and there are a number of factors that are that are pointing to that time frame, so it's something that, uh, is, as you said, many people are pointing to. But in the past, we've covered things like tariffs, uh, the Fed, uh, the, the debt of the government, treasuries, uh, et cetera. Uh, give us a bit of an overview before we take our first break about how all of them relate in the causation of a severe recession. Well, President Trump is trying to make America great. And that's why tariffs are being put into place, because we have a trade deficit. He's also trying to stimulate the economy, and that's why we had tax cuts, because our debt structure is not being, um, being managed. So we've got to create an economy that will grow more to fix and pay down the debt. Unfortunately, as President Trump said with Kim Jong-un, this should have been taken care of a long time ago, and this debt structure should have been taken care of a long, long time ago, decades upon decades ago. So it's going to come hit us in the face. So when the government goes in the debt, it's got to be subsidized. Right. And that's where the Treasury market comes in. The Treasuries are issued by our government through the Treasury. And to put it in perspective, in 2017, they issued uh, 300, excuse me, they issued 530 billion uh, treasuries. And now, if you, the first quarter of this year, they've issued 488 billion. If you amortize that out, that's $1.9 trillion. So we're wow. ballooning the treasury market. It's, it's insane because we got to get someone to buy our dollar. And to do that, we got to raise rates. That's one reason why the Fed is raising rates. And While they've they're been... doing that, though, it makes the debt harder to, to manage. So right. rates are going up, debt is going up, corporate debt, global debt. Consumer debt just hit $4 trillion here recently. It's insane. Yeah. Well, and that's why if people are trying to, you know, make personal adjustments in just their own personal economies, you know, cutting up the credit card, living within your means, putting yourself on a budget, knowing what your money is doing, these are all um, really important things to keep in mind. You know, when personal debt hits $4 trillion, I'm talking about a trillion dollars for auto loans, one trillion for credit card, one trillion for student debt, over a trillion for those. I'm not... The numbers are not including mortgage debt and a, a trillion for personal loans. Right. It says, you know, in the latter part of an economic growth cycle, and we're in that, 10 years is two years past the normal cycle. You should be paying down your debt, not ballooning your debt. And Americans, most of them, are doing ballooning their debt, and our government is ballooning, ballooning the debt. We should be paying this down so when we hit the next crisis... We have reserves, kind of like the, you know, uh, what happened in the Bible. Put the seven fat calves, ate up the seven lean calves. 
Yeah, well, the uh, the lean ones ate up the fat ones, and that was uh, why Joseph had to uh, help his family out because uh, they needed they, they had not prepared properly. We're coming right back with David Fisher. It's Kevin McCullough, and it's a special look at the economy today and what what we should think about it. Stay with. Breaking news as it happens. You're listening to Kevin McCullough Radio. On the surface, a lot of good numbers look awfully good. Jobs, many jobs are being uh, created. More lateral job placement is being done. People are being able to be more selective about the jobs they take. There is uh, some tax reform legislation that got passed, and all of that is designed to help you uh, you know, uh, be better steward of, of your money on what you pay to the government and how it's paid and so forth. Uh, but despite some of those positive uh, indicators of an active market, a market that's more active and is probably going to produce more GDP than uh, the um, recent uh, markets have, uh, there are some underlying instabilities uh, to the economy. And what that means about what you've invested for your retirement and for what you plan to live off of when you get to the end of your working time uh, is really going to be impacted by this. And one of the reasons I love... Landmark Capital, uh, as, a, as a partner and a sponsor to the show, is that they are concerned that you make sure that you know what's happening with your money, that you make sure that you know what the risks are and where things are at so that when there is a, a downturn in, in stocks and in real estate in particular, you are hedged with some protection against that. In fact, they, they have a number of free resources for you to uh, take advantage of all of these, including if you have the Financial Survival Guide, then you are getting the insider's newsletter that comes from Landmark, uh, and their their brand new one is all about locking your doors to keep honest people honest. I've always thought that was uh, good advice, but this is a, a newsletter that goes into market volatility and why it's a little bit uh, more important than ever to pay attention uh, to some of those principles. Um, but we're talking with David Fisher. He's the CEO of Landmark Capital. Again, if you want to uh, register yourself to win the gold coin that we're going to give away in early July – that is an that is a 100 year old well it was 100 years after the founding of the nation so we were founded in 1776 this coin was minted in 1876 it was minted in san francisco with gold taken out of the ground during the california gold rush and there's uh, there's a somewhat limited supply of these in uh, in circulation because some of them were taken back uh, into uh, and turned into bullion by the by the government uh, years later uh, so it's it's not a, it's not a rare coin but it is uh, there's not as many of them out there as, as there might be of others uh, and this is your chance to win it it's uh, valued between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars depending on where you buy it from and what kind of shape it's in but this is this is landmarks gift to you and uh, if you want a, a chance to win that uh, call and get the survival guide when you get the survival guide, when you sign up for it, uh, then you're automatically entered to win 844-604-2575. 844-604-2575 is the number that you uh, use to do that. Or you can go to am570themission.com, click on the picture of David's gold coin. It's the 1876 Liberty. Uh, and then fill out the information and uh, go from there. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful coin, and I think you're really going to enjoy uh, seeing it and touching it and holding it. David, there is something about uh, gold as a commodity that is very different than, uh, you know, you, you look at a, at a stock portfolio and it just feels like a regular newsletter that came in your, your, your mail. When you hold a piece of gold, you feel the weight, you feel the, the uh, I don't know, the kind of intrinsic value of it uh, as you're holding it and looking at it. It's, it's unlike holding anything that I've ever, you know, held before. You know, in the 25 years I've been doing this, Kevin, every single time when I've asked a person when they got their gold from us, what did you think? There's a pause. Usually there's a, a laugh, and they try to put it into words. I, and, the, and they just kind of like, I just feel, I feel safe now. I feel <laughs> like I hold something real, and I feel now protected financially. And so it does this in emotion that stocks, bonds, mutual funds, money in the bank cannot give you because it's tangible. And yeah, that's the same thing when your listeners who have bought gold from our company, I hear the same story over and over. And, and people who will buy from us in the future, that's what they will experience. Safety. Yeah. Well, and you think about now, and I was just having this conversation with another financial person uh, yesterday after hours, but 
uh, he 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 manages portfolios for USB, and we got onto the discussion of Bitcoin. And I said, you know, if there's ever been now, I I love blockchain technology. I think the concept behind blockchain is amazing, but uh, nobody's been able to prove that it's it hasn't been able to be hacked yet because it keeps getting hacked. Now, Bitcoin itself hasn't been hacked, but a lot of the other cryptos that are smaller have been. And I said, the, one of the reasons why I personally believe gold is a better th- thing for the McCullough portfolio is that I've just never seen it. Uh, it's never fallen to nothing. It's had good times. It's had lesser times. But in recent years, it has consistently outpaced other things. And when I think of holding it, as opposed to a, a cryptocurrency, which I can't even touch, uh, there's just no comparison to it. So it may be a little bit of a child's view of it in terms of my viewpoint, but that's how I feel about it. And I don't, I don't, I don't care who I say it to. Um, let's let's move on. Uh, so we're talking about these different things that could invite a severe recession, and tariffs are one of those things. Uh, for people that don't really understand, why why do they uh, get put into place, and and what will come of them? Well, the, the concept of a tariff is tariff is just a tax, Kevin, on products that come in to your country and uh, from another country, and so you're taxing it so that your citizens buy your own, your own stuff made in within your country rather than the exports that come into your country. That's what a tariff is, and it's we're on the the threshold of a tariff war right now. Uh, history has shown that tariffs never um, work. They never get to the very end of, of of everybody benefiting, and it causes usually higher prices of what consumers buy in that country. And so this is a challenge. It's causing market turmoil today uh, and recently, and this is just a, a snippet of, of probably where we're going, unfortunately, because we're trying to get the trade deficit in line. It's it's a very challenging thing, and again, this is something that should have been taken care of decades upon decades ago. So it's like a Johnny come lately, and now we're fixing this elephant in the room, and it's just a big, big bite to swallow at one point. Sure. Well, and that's what uh, this president finds himself up against constantly: is all the stuff that didn't get done in all the other administrations. You know, he's he's had a, ch- a long checklist of things to work on from the time he came in. Again, if you would like to register for the financial survival guide that David's company, it's worth about $200, but they're offering it to you for free, uh, you can do that. You can call their office at 844-604-2575, or you can just go to am570themission.com and request it when you uh, register to uh, for your chance to win that gold coin we were talking about. am570themission.com uh, will get you there. And just click on the uh, the big picture of the beautiful gold coin right there. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about the Fed. We're going to talk about uh, government debt. We're going to talk about treasuries on this uh, in-depth look at the economy on Kevin McCullough. What you need to know when you need it. It's Kevin McCullough Radio. Well, there's a great deal that you probably don't even realize happens in the markets where your money is. uh, If you have a 401k in particular, uh, you, you probably don't even know that there are computers that are beating, in many instances, your uh, portfolio manager to the ups and downs of what that market holds. Uh, it's scary. Uh, because these these bot computers and, and bot BOT are able to act uh, with uh, uh, very fast speed that sometimes even causes the entire markets to go hiccup. Uh, and it's, it's one of those things that if you are well uh, balanced in your portfolio, you have uh, some in, in various sectors, various industries, various uh, commodities, various securities, uh, then you, you don't have to be as worried as if you have the whole thing in there. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I love Landmark Capital. They are they are uh, insistent upon trying to help you make sure that your portfolio is properly balanced. David Fisher is their CEO. He continues with us on this special edition of Kevin McCullough Radio. And, again, if you want to contact his office, it's 844-604-2575. Uh, but, David, we're talking about the uh, combination of ingredients that could cause a severe interruption of this economy and there are a lot of things that are pointing to the late end of 2019 maybe into early 2020 where we have a major correction the fed is something that people talk about all the time but i think sometimes people's eyes glaze over because they don't really understand what the fed does talk to us about what the fed is contributing to the potential of this coming recession 
Well, it's just like the tide. The tide goes out, the tide comes in. That's the actions of the Fed. They create money, then they have to retract the money. They created a lot of money in 2008 through 2013 called quantitative easing, trillions of dollars. And they bought treasuries in doing so to support the treasury market, to support our debt structure. Now they're unwinding that. The tide is going the opposite direction, and this is what you call severe economic monetary tightening. And it's so they're getting rid of their books. They're selling their assets. They're lowering their liability. They're retracting the money that was created and injected in the system, pulling away the punch bowl, as some say, from the party, and making the stock market and the economy stand on its own two feet. Sounds like a harsh thing, but it's saying, like a child, grow up and, and work on and stand on right. its own two feet. And there's a little bit of a tenter tantrum in seeing if this can happen. Unfortunately, all the models that the Fed has ran prior to doing this have all failed, said it's going to cause severe economic turbulence which is what I predicted, which is what we're having. And they said it could cause a severe recession, which is where we're going. Once interest rates get to a level higher than they are now, about another point and a half higher, which will be sometime around 2019 or 20, and the Fed is at full speed ahead unraveling their balance sheet at $600 billion a year. Ironically, the ECB, the year in and the central bank just announced two days ago, Kevin, they're going to do the same thing that the Fed is doing. They're going to unravel their three trillion dollar balance sheet. So it's we're going to when they start doing this, they're about a year behind us. It's all going to converge, and it's a recipe for a financial problem. Well, let me ask you this question because there were a lot of us that were against quantitative easing, and we never wanted the markets to be flooded with what I called cheap dollars. Uh, does the tightening of the market, though it creates the pain now, does it actually raise the value of our currency in the long run? In doing that, yes. And that's one reason what creates a bigger trade deficit. Um, it does raise the value of our currency, and there's been a flight recently towards treasuries. But the, the long-term problem is it's not paying down the debt. We've got to service the debt at some point. Right. So as this happens, it creates stocks more unattractive because it makes our products that we sell abroad less attractive because they cost more. So this is there's a, a good and a bad to this, this side, a two-edged sword. Yeah, free market people will say that we want a weak dollar uh, for some reasons, and we want a strong dollar for others, and it's like you, you can't really have it both ways. But the important thing about gold, and I, 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 I want to get back to this, um, it has never seen the fluctuation that quantitative easing brings to treasuries. So the $20 gold piece, for example, that you're giving away on July 6th, um, it was a $20 currency uh, in 1876 when it was minted. It was worth $20. Today, because it hasn't been subject to the, the easing and the retraction and then the, and then the, the expansion, uh, it's worth almost $2,000, David. Am I correct? Do I understand this correctly? It's, it's almost impenetrable, impenetrable when it comes to the, the kind of oozing and easing of the, uh, of, of the uh, paper money. There's an inverse relationship, yes. In other words, as dollars go down, and they will continue to go down of their purchasing power over time because it's no longer backed by gold, and that happened in 1971. As that continues to happen, they create more dollars to fix more debt, and we just keep going into debt, and you can't get out of debt by going into debt. I mean, it's just a simple fundamental principle, but we're just trying to defy the odds here. So what happens is central banks are forced to go into gold because they have to hedge against the dollar because they know this has happened. It's just a simple, fundamental, economical um, a, a, a fundamental policy. Right. So they're driving the gold market. In fact, there's been four, central bank buying of gold is up 44% the first quarter of this year compared to last year. The big money is starting to see these problems, and there was a big uh, conference. Okay, David, hold that thought. When we come back, I want you to expound on that. Why are central banks from governments uh, buying gold, and what should we learn from that? Kevin McCullough, register at am570themission.com or call him at 844-604-2575. Come right
happening in New York or across the globe. Learn why it matters first on Kevin McCullough Radio. So glad to have you with us. It's an in-depth look at the economy and some of the, I don't know, the, the tinder hooks that may be pointing us towards uh, a recession uh, and, and, and what we can do about it in, in advance. Uh, David Fisher is my guest, and we are uh, glad to be able to uh, offer a lot of the support materials that we're talking about at absolutely no cost to you, 844-604-2575, 844-604-2575, or you can go to am570themission.com, and when you do, click on the gold button uh, at the tab at the top of the page and register for the uh, financial survival packet. And when you do, you are automatically also registered to win the 1876 twenty dollar Liberty Gold coin uh, that uh, is now worth somewhere between fifteen hundred and two thousand dollars, depending on the uh, rate of gold for that day. Uh, David, just before the break, uh, you mentioned that central banks, and that's that's the banking system that is the it's the state bank, it's the big bank within the different countries, but the central banks are buying gold because they see that paper currencies are becoming less and less valuable. Explain why that matters. Well, they lead the charge. Whatever they do is usually what happens in a market because they're the biggest money influence in a market. And, you know, while central bankers are in office, they tell you how great the economy is and everything's solid, but when they get out, they usually tell the opposite story, the realness of it. And Bernanke, Ben Bernanke, the previous chairman, two chairmans ago, is is telling the story of opposite what he said. And, he, you know, funny thing that he said, uh, Kevin, is he's saying that, there's going to be an economic downturn because of the stimulus that was created. He says it's going to hit the economy in a big way this next year or the year after. And he said that in 2020, like Wild E. Coyote, it's going to go off the cliff, and he's going to look down and say, huh, we essentially had withdrawn at this point. In other words, he's referring to we should have taken care of this and got out and withdrawn all the stimulus a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So this is go- even the central bankers are saying this is going to be a problem. But the central bankers looking at the debt of our country while it's ballooning at the fastest rate in history. And this is not a President Trump problem. This should have been taken care of decades ago. This is ballooning. The treasuries are ballooning, and they're trying to avoid this thing from happening. And what I think they're going to do is actually create and make the problem greater when it comes to fruition. And, you know, Jamie Dimon, who's the J.P. Morgan Chase CEO, said it's a 100% chance we're going to have a recession. And he said that two months ago. There's people out there like Jim Rogers, the guy who wears the funny bow ties, who's an economist of 72 years old. He said it's the biggest economic downturn that will happen in his lifetime that will make 2008 like a walk in the park. Now, I don't know if I want to go to those extremes because I'm not a doomsdayer. I don't think he is either. But we're not taking taking care of the whole fundamental financial girding system called sovereign debt, and that's what this is so much bigger than 2007. Yeah. And, friends, you you may not remember 2007 very well, but if you if you did have money in the markets, you were severely hurt. In fact, I know people that lost uh, half to three-quarters of the value of their uh, retirement in total. Uh, there, so this is not something that you want to be uh, playing games with. Certainly, um, you say that uh, the treasuries are ballooning the fastest in history. That has to do with what we've been talking about, right? Absolutely. While the treasuries are ballooning, and, and put into perspective, if we amortize this over the year, we're at one point nine eight trillion dollars. When of creating treasuries for people to buy our debt to support our national debt structure, which is twenty one trillion dollars and growing. So our debt's been doubling every eight years uh, for the last three presidencies, and that just can't continue. It's going to hit a go off the track here at some point, and that's going to happen when they pull away the punch bowl and they raise rates, where it becomes more challenging. So the Treasury market is in, is putting a band aid on the cancerous wound of the fundamental underlying problem of servicing our debt, and that's that's why recently twenty six. Uh, billionaires in a New York financial conference called the Schoen Conference that happens every year, who are mostly very bearish, don't like gold, they love stocks, 
their sentiment has changed this year. They, they're so pro-gold. In fact, they were very boisterous about it. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen happen. I've never seen this ever happen. So something is up with big money right now, with big central banks and billionaires are saying, get some gold in your portfolio. And what happened in 2007, stocks did go down, like you said, and gold went up the first year 53%, and yeah. on a multi-year run. So it, it makes sense to have some financial insurance, and you want to buy it in the lowness of a market, not when it's raging well and that's exactly the point point. and uh just real quickly david before we get to what i call the solution um personal debt we talked about it a little bit earlier in the show but it is rising uh the problem with government debt global debt and personal debt creates what for the individual uh user well, if you go back to 2007 when we had a recession and wages and income pulled back while interest rates were were very high, it makes it challenging to, to make ends meet, to pay your bills. So this is why we advocate get some money in cash, get some money in gold, get some money in stocks, but not 100%. Don't have 100% of your money in any asset class, and don't put 100% of your money in real estate. Although I don't think the same thing's going to happen this time around in real estate, but it will be affected. Right. So get your, get your debt under control. Pay down your debt with this economic boom that is happening right now, because it's not going to last forever. It's going to make a change. Get as debt-free personally as you can, and then on the investments that you have, the stewardship that you're giving to those things, spread it out across uh, uh, different uh, sectors that will then hedge protection one against the other. And certainly the uh, the, the susceptible area is in that uh, paper stuff, the stocks and the, even the cash on some level as the treasuries are, are doing with what they need to do. When we come back, the solution uh, with David Fisher to all of what we've talked about on this special economic focus edition of Kevin McCullough Radio and uh, why you can uh, take some great uh, confidence that you're doing the right thing. 844-604-2575 to get the new newsletter, to get the free white papers, to request the financial survival guide. 844-604-2575. You can also go to landmarkgold.com. You can also register online at am570themission.com and uh, request your chance to win the uh, gold coin. Coming right back. Kevin McCullough, stay with us. What you need to know when you need it. It's Kevin McCullough Radio. It's my hope and prayer, friend, that uh, what we do here is not just informative from a news perspective. You know, the, the, the saying is uh, breaking news, and then it's what it means, and thirdly, why it matters. Today we spent a lot of time on the why it matters part. I want to make uh, a difference in your life, and I want to introduce you to resources that will help your life make a difference. Uh, and there's probably no more single important subject in the scriptures behind how you handle people than behind how you handle money. Uh, in fact, I think uh, people and money are the two most talked about issues that Jesus and the scriptures address. So as we are uh, dealing with this, you understand their kind of intimate connection. People use money. It's how much of life is, is figured out to be lived. So what we do with it and how much wisdom we apply to it really matters. And we've, we've given you many different angles today on why the end of 2019 might be the time that a, a very severe, if not maybe one of the most severe recessions, uh, will hit, and it has to do with a lot of these uh, different ingredients that David's been talking about this hour. But, David, let's talk about the solution. Um, managing our debt, holding stocks and gold, why both? Why now? Why now to manage the debt? Why now to invest in a, a diverse portfolio that maybe you haven't before? Well, stocks uh, and gold are in a trading pattern. A, a low high number, in other words, the Dow is between 23.9 and 25.3, and gold is between 12.72 and 13.60. Typically, these markets are going to go breaking out. They're going to go more probably to the upside. I think we're going to have a, an economic boom here happening, but we're taking a breather. But there's a financial problem that's also going to bust and cause the economic boom to lag a little bit in a couple years from now. So get some both. But get your debt under control, because when this does change, servicing that debt is going to be very more challenging. So this is why we say get some money in different asset classes. People that do that 
and did that in 2007, didn't get hurt when they had all their eggs, the others, while the others had all their 90 to 100 percent of their money in stocks. Right. So this is why we advocate, you know, let's diversify and get some gold in your portfolio. Yeah. Friends, uh, it, there's no one that does it with greater ease and with greater uh, integrity than Landmark Capital. And I can tell you that because I, David wouldn't be here talking to me if I felt any other way about it. 844-604-2575 to talk to anyone on David's team. You can also register for your chance to win the gold coin coming up July 6th, am570themission.com. You can also request through either of those locales. Uh, the Financial Survival Guide for 2018. It's been a rock'em, sock'em, up-and-down, roller coaster kind of uh, economy this year. This helps explain a little bit why, and it helps you take some uh, positive steps forward so that you're not taken by surprise. You also get a, an insider newsletter subscription with that survival guide as well. 844-604-2575. David Fisher, thanks for your being here. Friend, thank you for you being here, and we'll see you next time. I'm Calvin McCullough on Calvin McCullough Radio. 